Hey guys, how's it going? Johnny here. Today we're going to go over the twin prop airplane. Hopefully you guys have uh, done single prop airplanes. Because this is going to be like that, but with two. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I spent most of it watching SpaceX launch the Crew Dragon Demo 2 mission to the space station. That was pretty cool to watch. Hopefully you guys check that out. It's uh, pretty cool seeing that America sending people back into space for the first time in they say nine or ten years. So that's pretty exciting stuff. But yeah, like I said today, going over the twin prop airplane. Right now I'm just building just a basic little design here. Nothing too fancy. Trying something different today. I'm doing the audio commentary after the fact. So I might have some spots here where I'm just not saying anything. That way I don't say stupid words and have to dump out the audio and restart this whole thing over again. Making YouTube videos is fun. I was thinking I need a catchphrase. Uh, everybody says the uh, welcome back to whatever my channel is. And you know, I sit around and think about it. We haven't come up with anything yet. Gonna attach some wings here. Isn't that cool? Look at those wings. Just trying to get to the bread and butter of this thing, which is obviously the props. Uh, this isn't really that much more complicated than building these with a single prop. It definitely flies a lot better. You got. A lot of questions online are about how do I make it stop, you know, rotating one direction or, you know, it's nose heavy. And that's, that's, uh, the rotation is an inherent problem with a single prop plate, even in real life. You know, you can't really tell, but that's, they're always, they're always kind of rotating one way. But this, this method here, this eliminates that. So just, just like, uh, Sort of like a quadcopter or uh, like a Chinook style helicopter. You're going to have one, one prop's going to rotate clockwise, the other prop is going to rotate counterclockwise. It doesn't matter which side you put them on, just so long as one goes one way and one goes the other. Uh, I would like to point out that I do most, I do all of my videos on the PlayStation 4. So, everything that I'm doing applies to the PlayStation 4. It should apply to the PC as well, but from what I understand, PC doesn't use the authority limiter to adjust the angle. They use deployment angle. So that, as far as I know, that's the only real big difference here. I do notice a lot of times that when you add these uh, counterclockwise blades, for whatever reason, they are, they're upside down. So usually you have to flip them 180. Just so long as when you're building on top like I am here, uh, just make sure that the painted part is facing up like that. And uh, when you first put those on and extend them, you're going to be like, well, those aren't those aren't parallel to the surface, so they don't look like they're going to work right. They will uh, if you extend them and then slide your authority limiter uh, authority limiter slider to zero. You'll see that they're flat, so it'll throw you off. When I first started building these, I kept attaching them, and I'm like, I kept putting them on 90 degrees off because the way they did it didn't make any sense. But yeah, it's just. Kind of overthinking the problem there. Just like my other builds, I'm attaching, you know, the blades and the action group to the Cal 1000, and the clockwise blades go negative. The counterclockwise blades go positive. Now the reason I'm putting the dot in the middle there on PlayStation, I don't know if this is the same on PC, but when you attach it to the main throttle in the action group. Even at throttle at zero, it still has the play position at uh, halfway. 
when you're loaded in, and I, I don't know why that is, so I always put a dot there, that way it's zero at the midpoint. If you want to, you can make that a little bit, so like if you're, if you're doing a clockwise, and you have it set to negative 80, if you make that center point, like positive 5, that'll give you a little reverse thrust for when you're stopping. It's really more helpful in helicopters. Uh, here I'm just setting the torque limiter up to 100 for both engines. The only reason I do that is it saves me from having to open uh, the, the quick menu or whatever once you've launched to start them manually. I always just attach it to RCS. That way it's it's one click, the engine start up. I don't have to uh, manually move things around. It looks like that's about it, except for uh, the uh, control surfaces and wheels. But that, other than that, everything looks good to go. Just always make sure you check your center of lift versus center of mass. On all airplanes, that center of lift should be a little bit behind center of mass. The closer it is to the center of mass, uh, you're going to have more control, but it's going to be less stable. So if you shift it too far back, it'll be super stable, but you won't have uh, very good maneuverability. So I just try to find a happy medium. Just put it a little bit behind there. I think that's where a lot of people get stuck building airplanes, is not realizing that you want that you want that a, a little, just a little bit behind the center of mass. And when you put the back wheels on, don't put them too far behind the center of mass. Otherwise, you're going to have a hell of a time getting it off the ground. Yep, just finishing up touches here, getting the wheels the same height. You should see how I, I usually do the wheels. Is I'll, I'll drop the whole craft down to the floor and check and see and make sure they're kind of clipping through the surface at the same area. You should see that here in a minute. <clears throat> but yeah, what do you guys think about that SpaceX? Uh, it's pretty bummed out when it got canceled earlier in the week, but I'm really glad they got got to do it yesterday. It's a nice sunny day in Florida. Florida weather super unpredictable if you've never been there. You can have one cloud in the sky and it's pouring down rain for three minutes and then the sun's out and you're back to your day. Gonna add some more wings here. I think it would have flown the other way, but this is sort of uh, just for aesthetics. And yeah, about wrap this up. Uh, we're going to launch it. See how it flies. That looks pretty good. Hey, I thought I'd add these little quick tips in here. Just a short little quick, here's how you do this thing. But this one is if you want to build a pod racer type plane, I'll show you how to do that. Just attach some uh, engines or whatever to the side of your craft. Use the offset tool. Push those bad boys out in front. If you use the fine tuning key to shift it out front, you can kind of push it forever. But yeah, you'll just throw those things out front. Separate them out a little bit. You could throw some struts from the uh, tanks back to the main body there and build your engines put some landing gears on both sides and uh some control services and you should be good to go thanks well that was quick wasn't it up oh, here we are with the twin prop airplane it's going to turn rcs on to start the engines uh, when you're throttling up you want to throttle up kind of slow if you turn the blades at too sharp of an angle too fast you're either not going to get forward momentum or you're not going to go fast enough to take off. So you just want to bump that up a little bit at a time. Just a nice smooth angle on the blades and 
you should be able to get it off the ground. If you build it just like mine here, it's uh, pretty stable. Like I said, you can adjust the wings back or forward a little bit to make it a little bit more responsive. But yeah, that's it. So hopefully you like this video. The next one I'm going to be doing is on a Chinook style helicopter. Then after that, I think I'm going to start looking at some uh, like frequently asked questions from the comments section of my videos. So if you have questions, you need help, leave a comment, or uh, you can find me on Instagram at Johnny Builds KSP with underscores in between the words, or uh, find me on Reddit at uh, Johnny One Shot. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. I hope.